You don't have to hide when Jehovah's Witnesses come to your door. You don't have to hide when Jehovah's Witnesses come to your door. Mm. All right, we are back. I'm Michael. And I'm Lakia. And this is Voice, Voice of, of Reason. Reason. Today, we're going to be re reacting to a video. I'll just, I'll just read the title. It says... What do I say when Jehovah's Witnesses come to my door? Interesting. Okay, full disclosure, we are Christians in faith. So this will be interesting to us. What do you say when a Jehovah's Witness come to your door? Honestly, I just sit and listen. Mm -hmm. I don't really say anything. Y yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just being honest. I can't yeah. say the same. Um, oh, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> when Jehovah's Witness come to my door, first I rub my hands together, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I do listen. Um, I ask pointed questions and and um, just to see where they are as far as their knowledge of the word. And and then I proceed to show them what the Bible actually says. Mm -hmm. So let's see what um, Mike Winger has to say one about this. One of our favorite. Like, yeah, he's one of our favorite teachers. Pastors, so. teachers, yeah. Let's see. This is an old video of them of, of him, so don't judge. This is like eight years old. <laughs> you don't have to hide when Jehovah's Witnesses come to your door. You don't have to hide when Jehovah's Witnesses come to your door. Mm. In this video, you're going to learn two questions and one Bible passage that you can use the next time a Jehovah's Witness comes knocking on your door. <laughs> So what can you expect when a Jehovah's Witness comes to your door? In a word, magazines. They consider these magazines, Awake and the Watchtower, to be authoritative scriptures, and they're going to be handing them out to you free of charge. The Jehovah's Witness is also going to have a plan of conversation. They want to take you from point A to point B to point C, and then convert you. That's okay. You're going to interrupt that conversation with a couple of good questions. The first question you'll ask is, Is Jesus equal with God? Now the Jehovah's Witness is definitely going to answer you with a big no. Mm. Then you will ask them question number two. If Jesus was equal with God, what would that mean? It's important that you allow them to answer this question. Now the Jehovah's Witness couple that has come to your door is going to be carrying with them one of these, a New World Translation of the Scriptures. This is not your typical Bible. It's a perverted translation that the Jehovah's Witness organization came up with in order to support their false teachings. It's very easy to show that this is a perverted version of the Bible, but that's for a different video. Right now, what I want to do is just take you to a passage that even in their version of the Bible has not been so perverted that it still shows Jesus. What do you think so far? Yeah, I think this is very educational, informational. Yeah, he's giving you help, like evangelize the right kind of questions to ask. I think it's very important to ask questions because if you don't, you'll end up getting into like an argumentative mode, um, in a debating mode to where it's like the other person talks and then you talk and then the other person talks. If you stop, slow it down, and ask questions, it'll it'll cause them to think about what they believe. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. This is equal with the Father. In John chapter 5, Jesus heals a sick man and is confronted for doing this healing by the Pharisees who were upset that he performed this miracle on the Sabbath and asked the man to take up his bed and walk on the Sabbath. The way that Jesus answers the Pharisees and even more the way they respond to him declares to us that Jesus is in fact God in the flesh. We pick up on verse 16. So on this account, the Jews went persecuting Jesus because he was doing these things during the Sabbath. But he answered them, My father has kept working until now, and I keep working. And in case we didn't know exactly what he meant by that, well, verse 18 reveals it. On this account, indeed, the Jews began seeking all the more to kill him because not only he was breaking the Sabbath, but he was also calling God his own father, making himself equal to God. Now, this doesn't say that it was the Jews' opinion that Jesus was making himself equal with God. This is John's commentary declaring in the New World Translation right. that Jesus was, in fact, making himself equal with God. 
Jesus goes on in verse 23 to declare, In order that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. He that does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. So they are not only equal in the sense that Christ is declaring himself God, but also he's asking that he should be worshipped as God is worshipped, equally so. So you're going to be focusing on verses 18 and 23, emphasizing the idea that the Bible clearly teaches that Jesus made himself equal with the Father. You'll remind your Jehovah's Witness friend that they know that this equality with the Father means the deity of Christ, which is why you asked those two questions to start with. This isn't going to be the end of the conversation, but hopefully you're planting a seed in this person's mind to get them closer to the knowledge of Jesus, to get them closer to the knowledge of God. And so you will leave them with this rock in their shoe, with a seed for their thoughts, something that they can't reconcile with what they've been taught. So there's two questions and one Bible passage that you can take your Jehovah's Witness friend to the next time they come to your door. Next time you hear a knock on the door, I hope you're ready with some good information for that person because they may have come to evangelize you, but you can give them some great news instead. You don't have to hide when Jehovah's Witnesses come to your door. Mm. Are they gone yet? Have they left us in peace? So... <laughs> Yo, if if you're familiar with with Mike Winger, you know that this video is very very cringy because he he does like super professional like super crisp videos now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he was having fun though. I I love it. Um, very informative. Um, I like how he makes it so simple. Two questions, one scripture. Have it ready. You, I mean, you don't even have to think. You know, right. it's. Ask them two questions. Show them what the Bible says. If they argue against what the Bible says, that's a whole different story. You know what I mean? It just shows that is your faith in what the Bible says or is your faith in what these pamphlets say? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. What do you think? Same. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let us know what y'all think. Um, see, uh, uh, write your comments if you're a Christian. If, you, if you're a Jehovah's Witnesses and you have some questions, um, comment below. Uh, let us know what you thought of this video. Um, and share it. Share it with um, Please. with your friends. Share it with your family. And yeah. Hope y'all have a good one.